What's up guys, it's Ellie here and today I have a Lightroom tutorial in which I'll be covering how I use the graduated filter tool, which is this little guy right here, in order to help me in sticky landscape situations such as this one in which I have one area in great shadow and maybe I just want to go ahead and correct for this area alone or maybe just affect a part of the sky alone without necessarily affecting the overall image. So again, when you want to just affect a specific part of the image, this is where this little handy tool will come into great use. Okay, so let's begin. First things first, I love bright skies in my images. This is just a personal thing. I think it helps to add a minimalistic, clean look. So because of that, I am going to increase my exposure quite significantly here. And I understand that this is not everyone's cup of tea, some of you might want to keep that detail in the sky, um, keep those really dramatic clouds. So in that case, don't amp up the exposure so much, or maybe don't amp it up at all, just leave it as is. But in this specific situation, because I love those really bright skies, I am going to increase it quite a bit here. And now I want to help correct for the shadow area here. So I'm going to lift up my shadows as well. And as you can see, that already made a huge difference. Really helped bring back that detail back into the image here. And now let's head over to the graduated filter, which is this little guy right here. And I'm gonna click Effect, and that just gave me a clean slate. And so now I'm gonna bring down my exposure tool quite a bit. And then while hitting the Shift key on my keyboard, I'm gonna drag down on my image from the top of the sky and then downwards and the shift key just keeps the line straight because if not it'll be tilting all over the place and it could get pretty hard to control. Okay and as you can see this is what's so awesome about the graduated filter it just affected this area alone so it kind of gives me the best of both worlds it gives me that really bright sky that I love in my images but it also allows me to bring a little bit more of that drama by um, bringing back some of that detail at the top of the image. So now it looks like there's some gloom rolling into the image, which is really cool. So I can emphasize that a bit more by bringing this down or uh, make it less dramatic by bringing it back up. I'm gonna keep it at about there because I don't want to go overboard with this. I just want to add a little bit of gloom towards the top of the image. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Maybe just add a little bit more. And there we go. And then I'm going to click Done. And it's as easy as that, guys. So let's say that I want to maybe brighten this up a bit more without light brightening up the sky. Same thing here. Go back to the graduated filter. And um, let's just go over this area here, the Shift key. Using the shift key on my keyboard, I'm going to go over this area right here and drag to about, let's say, there. Okay, and now if I play around with my exposure, it's only going to affect this area, so that's pretty awesome. So I'm just brightening up that area a bit. And again, I'm just playing around with it here. I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast. And that's looking a lot better already. I wanna bring back some more detail into the water, so I'm gonna go ahead and lower my highlights just a little bit. And then I'm gonna click Done. And now I'm going to add the final tweaks to the image. So I want to draw the viewer's eye to the Golden Gate Bridge. So I'm going to go to my saturation tool and increase it. That made a huge difference, really helped brighten that up. And I'm not a fan of vivid greens. So because of that, I'm gonna desaturate the greens. And again, this is just a personal thing. I like to keep my greens pretty desaturated overall. The next thing I want to do is desaturate the overall image. 
and then I'm going to add some contrast into the image. And I want to add more color here. So I'm going to go to my saturation and ump out, ump, ump, <laughs> amp up my cyans. So as you can see, that just added a little bit more color into the water. And now for a final touch, I'm going to go to my curves tool and play around with it. So this can just brighten up the image overall or help add a little bit more contrast. I'm placing a point at the top and a point at the bottom to make a slight S-curve. Okay. If you'd like to change the mood of your photo, I recommend playing playing around with your different color channels. So in this instance, if I wanted this to have a more somber tone, I could lift up my uh, blue curves tool a little bit. And as you can see, that just gives it a completely different vibe. It kind of makes it a little bit, you know, more gloomy. It helps to enhance that look. Let's see if I like that better with or without it. Okay, I think I like it, but just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and amp that up just a tad, make it very subtle. Maybe like that. Okay, and that just helped to add a little bit more of a cool tone to the overall image. The last thing I want to do, because I'm a fan of bright images, just brighten that up a bit more. Just a little bit. Add a little bit more contrast. And okay, I'm pretty happy with that. And I can uh, sharpen the overall image if I'd like right here or also use the clarity. Um, I'll just do that just a little bit. I don't wanna make it too sharp. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. And again, guys, um, using the uh, graduated filter, I was able to keep some of the gloom here, which is what I wanted, but also um, keep a lot of the sky bright. So I was only able to add it to a selected area, which is great. Um, again, I understand that the whole bright sky look is not everyone's uh, cup of tea. So in that case, just go ahead and lower your exposure or keep your exposure as is to really keep those details within the skies and within the clouds. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys. If you guys wanna see more tutorials such as this one, uh, photography-based, creativity-based, uh, photography-related DIYs, Photoshop tutorials, things like that, uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your time and have a really, really great day. Bye guys.